So, um, as I said yesterday, <coughs> today was a very glitterish day. Uh, I still have this, you know, glitter on my fingers <coughs> and there's some on my hand and I got even up on my elbow and so on because, you know, glitter is sticks. <laughs> and um, I will, oh, I have some in my hair too. Yeah. And because that's I'm such a sparkling personality. <laughs> no. But um, my co workers are joking about it because I'm always covered in glitter. It's just glitter or paint. It's whatever, always, because uh, I think it's fun and the kids loves it, so it's a good combination. It makes my work so much more fun with some glitter on it. It was a huge success with um, water drop glitter and paint, painting technique I was uh, talking about yesterday, so that's something really nice. And tonight I've been doing laundry and I'm so tired. And I think this laundry talk, it's something like they don't come back time after time after time after time and it's something that will never ever stop it's so boring at the same time it's so satisfying to have all those clean nice smelling nicely folded clothes and so on sometimes I wish really badly that I had a washing machine on my own in my apartment and so on but sometimes I think that if I had that I would just you know wash some clothes all the time and not doing all this big laundry days and I think when you do this big laundry day you get everything done at once and then it's over. It's not like this. Um, it would be even more a never ending story if I had a wa own washing machine. And also, I don't think it's very good for the environment to wash all the time and just use uh, a few uh, favorite ones. Because I remember when I was living at home, I was always using my favorite clothes because you would just easily just throw them in the washing machine and have it cleaned and dry to until the next day. And yeah. So. Uh, I guess I should be happy I don't have any washing machine, even if I miss it sometimes. Uh, we also talked some about it this at, at work before, um, that um, about giving, about giving of yourself and being this person who always has ideas and always come up with new things to do and so on. And I, I'm this kind of person who always have all the new ideas and always new projects going on and so on. And um, it's something I feel really good about. And we talked about you can give too much of yourself, and also we talked about giving while knowing you won't get anything back. And um, I guess to a lot of people, that is uh, not a positive thing to give something and not getting anything back. But I think you always get something back. Um, there are always a selfishness and egoism in giving, also because uh, I mean I love giving things uh, and. I love giving for knowing that I get um, to see the joy in another person that way I have about it. And that is satisfying. So in one way, that's an egoistic way. I also thought about this guy I've been talking about a lot. <clears throat> I know that many other times he talked to me uh, in order to make me make him feel good. He didn't feel good about himself and so on. And uh, I played along. And, um, I wouldn't say play along because it's something I really like to do. I mean, if I know he feels better, if I'm telling him things which actually was true. It was no lies. I wasn't lying to him. Just telling him nice things about him that was true. Um, keeping the bad things out and trying to make him feel better about himself. And um, um, I know he didn't give anything back then. It was very you no know, one. Way communication I giving to him what he needs and he not giving anything back at all but uh, at the same time to me it wasn't using as some people would call it I think that the other thing that been using but not that part because um, it was something that made me feel good and something I actually missed today that I can't don't have anyone I can pamper in that way because that's something I really like to do and um, I think that is the same thing all uh, relationships you have with other humans, that um, we're always an egoistic side of it. Also when it comes to having children and so on, it's um, it's never a completely unegoistic um, thing. And I think it's good that it isn't, because if it wasn't, it wouldn't matter to you really not at all. Uh, even the people who live in uh, convents and so on, uh, monks and so on, um, who claim that they don't gain anything. They actually do gain something. They gain the peace of mind 
and a feeling of pureness and so on. And I think that is just as valued as it should be as valued as an heavy feeling. And um, yeah, uh, I don't think I think it's wrong to try to see um, to not see the whole picture. I think it's it's easier to be happy if you allow yourself to see the egoistic part of it too, I think. Something like that. <laughs> and now I think we're speaking. So thank you for watching.